What's up, everybody? Picking up right where we left off. We are still hanging out in this cargo hold. Uh, we've got the hose here. I've put the hose up to the top of the, the thing there, which I think it's attached to the bars. Uh, even though it allows me to click here and, and cl well, let's climb up to the shelf. But I mean, here it's examine the pulley, which we've done, and use hose width. So I use hose width, and I say attach hose to the bars. Apparently, I use my telepathic abilities with my mind and my telekinesis, and I go, bam, attached to the bars, because you don't see me climb up there and actually do it. Um, I can I examine the pulley, the pulley, which basically tells me that it is sturdy as hell. Um, there is one thing right here, the crane controls, which I think has to do with what was sitting up there. So if we hit the crane controls, hmm. I wonder if that will lower the hook. Yeah, there we go. So then if I take and I use hose with this. I tied the hose to the hook. Now if I use the crane, how far back can the crane go to pull that? Here goes nothing. That was nice and loud. Louder than I expected. I hope no one noticed. We've there we go. be able to warn the others about the doctor before it's too late. Very nice. Out we go. Out to the great beyond. No. Ugh. Hey, you you all right? <sighs> that bastard didn't inject the fatal dose. You'll be back on your feet soon enough. <sighs> but... Better take it easy while I. Oh no. Uh oh. I'll be right back. Wait. So... I love the music. I absolutely love the freaking music. I can see Legrand in the saloon. I don't think Gebhardt would have gone there. Likely not. He didn't go back. Outside, I would say. Where are you? Upper deck, rear deck. Mm. There he is. Oh, damn. Uh, no. Why can't you just leave me alone? What's this dude's problem? Uh, 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 That's not good. All right, so he went that way. One man. <laughs> this is too cool. Stay there. Just relax. Why can't you just leave me alone? It is always the same old story. What old stories? I am a decent man. Why are you torturing me? Why were you I torturing Zelmer? I. I loved her. She betrayed me. It was her fault. I have blood on my hands because of her. The Are you talking about the Baroness? She... She was her sister. I loved her. With all my heart. They were Jewish, you know? But I didn't care about that. I hit them when it became dangerous for them. I looked after them. I brought them food. I was a party member. And still, I hit her and her whole family. You risked your life for a woman you loved, and 30 years later you murder her sister? I saw her swollen belly. I was so angry. He was one of them, you know? They just used me. I hit them, brought them food, and in return they laughed about me behind my back. Oh. What did you do? There are Jews hiding in the basement of the Waldhof. Armed Jews. We have to burn them out. Oh, damn. And that's what they did. So, he was in love with the Baroness's sister, who apparently cheated on him, was pregnant with something or another. That's what I'm gathering from this. 
And to get even, he had him burned out of whatever building. Wow, that's pretty cold. Come down from there. Why? So you can kill me? I'm not going to kill anyone. Or pack me off to an Egyptian prison? Or an Israeli prison? No. What do you expect? You had an entire family put to death. I am a gentleman. And I expect that others... That... That they... They, they don't. She didn't love you. And was expecting a child by another man. And that's why you betrayed her. It, it, it was her fault. She shouldn't have cheated on me. I, but I, I saved her. I risked my life for her every day for, for four months. Wow. And then you threw it all away and became a murderer. I am not. I am. Wow. Yeah, well, the dead Baroness in the ship's hold proves the opposite. I had never met her. Back in East Prussia, she was the older sister, the smart sister. She studied art history in New York, tried to get her family out of East Prussia, but I was able to prevent that. You say you loved her, and yet you wanted to deny her and her family a safe life. They were safe. I protected them. It was for their sake that I joined the party. I had contacts. I wrapped them in my protective embrace. You didn't let her escape because you wanted to keep her close to you. She sent photos to her sister before the war. She must have recognized me yesterday in Venice. I certainly recognized her. The Baroness was searching through her photos. That's true. She couldn't get me during the war. And after the war, I disappeared. Gave myself a new name, a new resume, a new life. Ah. And then suddenly, there she was. About to ruin everything. Well, that starts to definitely shed light on that. I didn't want that. But she gave me no choice. Why did she have to stir up old ghosts? Uh, all right now. No. It ends here. And now, why do you want to kill yourself? Isn't it obvious? Wow. He can't bear his false, hollow life anymore. Well, this guy's not how you. What do you want? A man who understands etiquette and honor and yet is nothing but a coward himself. Who, because of wounded vanity, burdens himself with immense guilt. Don't come any closer. The Baroness held a mirror up to you, didn't she, Doctor? And you hated what you saw there. So you smashed the mirror. But the sins of the past are catching up with you now, aren't they? This guy's pretty no. evil. A skull with empty eyes full of fear. Stop it. Oh, dear. You really know how to dampen the mood. <laughs> I almost had him. And oh you, my God. aren't you supposed to follow orders? Are you not here to assist me? I won't. That wasn't a question. I'm sorry. I'm your man, but... Are you really? I am indeed. But I don't want any dead bodies. The same old story. You want success, but you don't want to get your hands dirty. Isn't the Raven famous for that? I do what's necessary. Come on, Gebhardt. No. Oh, oh! No, no! What is it then? You wanted to jump anyway, or you should at least. Inch! I'm just lending a friendly hand. He's a coward. He needs a bit of motivation. <laughs> Come Damn. on now, chop, chop, jump! You are the Baroness's butler, aren't you? I. I did not want to kill your mistress. Oh, nonsense. Forgiven and forgotten. If you don't mind my asking. There must be another solution. Why are you doing this? Nothing personal. Well, that's not entirely true. You're a miserable excuse for a human being, aren't you? But Jeez. maybe you're a means to an end. Your death will get Inspector Legrand off our backs. The Inspector? What do I have to do with him? Your letter. The one in which you confess to being the Raven 
and to killing the Baroness because she saw through your ruse. <laughs> That's absurd. Indeed it is. But people will believe almost anything if it suits them. Wow. The press will love it. Bold Inspector Legrand saves the day again. Interviews, medals, urgent telegrams from the capital. Our dear friend won't be able to escape the limelight. And by the time the commotion has ended, I'll be long gone. You can't kill him. Why not? He's a bastard, his death will help us, and he's a witness. If we let him go, we'll both go to jail. All the same, we're not gonna kill him. You got us into this situation. And as long as I'm alive, I won't let anyone be killed in my presence. No. Ooh. Can't kill both of them, he still needs me. I have to do the dirty work for you in the museum, so you won't be shooting me, or him. Very well, you win. Oh, damn. What? Oh. Never speak to me like that again. Do you understand? Nice. I need you to steal the eye, but one day I could be overwhelmed by a feeling of hatred that will make me forget the eye. And there are worse things I could do than simply shoot you. I suggest you go back to your cell. You need to be fit for Cairo. I still have a confession to write. Oh man. This is the getting too cool. Act, the end of the Raven. Beep beep, hey honey. <laughs> Part of me wants to abandon the whole plan and go back to Europe. What if something goes wrong and Legrand catches on? I couldn't bear it if something happened to her. I can't afford to slip up. Oh man. This is crazy. Let's get this over with. Still angry on account of the good doctor? You disgust me. You'll be rid of me in less than two hours, and I of you. All right. What happens next? My diversion worked wonderfully. The press has laid siege to the French embassy, and Legrand won't be able to escape them. He should arrive in a few minutes with the safe, and then he'll have to answer ridiculous questions from reporters all afternoon. That's why we're striking now. A regrettable necessity. I would have preferred to make my grand entrance this evening at the gala. But yes, we will strike as soon as the safe is in the treasure chamber and Legrand has left. Who is Mr. X? Have you already met your Mr. X? He's counting an envelope of unmarked bills as we speak. He put the blueprints under the statue of Imhotep. Imhotep. A sketch of the museum, not the kind you can get just anywhere. This one shows secret entrances, basements, and attic rooms that the Resistance used during the war. That's what it was about. That's what poor Zellner the found. There's a basement below the treasure chamber. The entrance should be marked on the blueprints. Open it and give me a sign. Will there be more deaths here in the museum? If you follow my instructions, no. If people are in danger, I'll call the whole thing off. I don't kill for fun, only when it's necessary. Is it ever really necessary? Sometimes. Sometimes. Yes! Revenge, for <laughs> example, when one has been betrayed. Uh-oh. I think he's on to the kid. What's the next step after the basement? You'll find out when it's time. But... <sighs> All right, then. I'll pay a visit to Imhotep, and we'll meet in the basement. Good monkey. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, and by the way, the museum is closed to visitors until tomorrow. Then how... You'll find a way. <sighs> what a pain in the ass this guy is. I bet the craftsmen are nearby. If not in the museum, then somewhere around here. I hope the owner doesn't come back while I'm tampering with the truck. Craftsmen aren't known for their calm, sympathetic natures. 
What am I trying to do here? I tried to open the door and he just kind of spazzes a little bit. There we go. Ah, locked. Boy, it's a little uh, spazzy, There's a isn't it? Tennis ball stuck on the toe hitch. Ah, people do that to protect the hitch and their trouser legs from the grease. Hmm. Holy glitchy buggy thing. The door is closed, and I don't want to break the window. Someone might hear the sound and call the police. Oh, well, let's search the trash can. Maybe. Nope, still bugging out. I have to improvise yeah. if I want to get into the museum. What do we got? Can make this work. Oh, nothing. Do I need an umbrella in Cairo? Or could it help me get into the museum? Hmm. Maybe. Somehow you're gonna stick it in your pocket. A nope, rod that like one. that could be useful. Uh-huh, we can jimmy the thing on the truck. That's right. There. You to you. Hmm. I could probably reach the door lock with the rod. But how's it supposed to catch hold? You bend it, you dumbass. Ah. There's no option to bend it. I bet the craftsmen are nearby. Okay. Take the tennis ball. Oh, I'm behind the truck. Got I have it. teleporting powers. What can I do with the tennis ball? How much you want to bet the tennis ball leads to something to do with the dog of the other guy? That'd be funny. The door is closed, and I don't want to break... Yeah, we know all of this already. See, I don't understand why I just can't do this. Hmm. Doesn't make any sense. Well, let's just go look up front anyways. The whole glitching back and forth is kind of annoying. Uh-oh. Could be a bad sign. This could be the end of the line. Yeah. Hold on. Did we make it out? Okay, we did. Good! <laughs> I was starting to get a little worried. Sometimes these games like to bug out a little bit. Uh, let's see what we can find here. There's the doggy. Hi, doggy. Apparently Who's talking to the good dog. dog? Yeah. yeah. Who's a good dog then? Uh huh. Such a lovely puppy. <laughs> good dog. I try to enter the museum. I'm gonna get stopped by the. The museum is closed today. Come back tomorrow. But I don't wanna. But there are visitors in the museum. Carefully selected by Director Mokhtar. Or they have an invitation. Is there any chance of getting such an invitation? I'm thinking not. For you? No. Okay. Don't gotta be an ass about it. Can you please let me in? My ship sails tonight and I can't leave Egypt without having seen a mummy. Get yourself a shovel and head for the desert. Maybe you'll get lucky. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, that's See good. See you later. That's good, Better sir. Better luck next time, huh? <laughs> You're too kind. <laughs> Very good, sir. Very good. All right, come here. Come here, you dumb dog. Oh, my glitchy everywhere. Yes, that might be just the thing. You want it? <laughs> okay. Yeah, you like that, don't ya? All right, take the ball. 
<laughs> Throw the tennis ball into the museum. Well, who wants to become an accomplice in a burglary? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> who wants to be an accomplice? Oh, this is gonna be great. <laughs> what are you doing? Come here, you... <laughs> In you go. Stay away, you flea bag. Next time I'll wring your neck, even if it costs me my job. Ah, uh, why didn't I go in? You made yourself an enemy, pup. <laughs> this little dog is crazy about the ball. Maybe I can somehow use that to my advantage. Yeah. Maybe I missed something here. I have to do it quicker? There we go. I actually have to click the door. Nice. Very nice. Ah, so I'm the one who clobbers the guard then. Okay, that's pretty cool. A self-moving chair. <laughs> no? That didn't do it? I don't think I can sneak out. Really? I can open a drawer behind him? I think I see where this might be going. I'm gonna try and search the drawer. Oh, this is too cool. Anything good? I'll take it. Oh, come on, let me have it. Oh. Right, I've already fiddled with the coffee pot. Can I throw the ball at something to really screw with this guy? Nah, it's not looking like it. Maybe I can do something with this. Nope, it's not usable anywhere. Well, let's just sneak out. Alright, so my tampering with the coffee this is pot. My chance. No, yeah, that won't work. I can't just talk the Oh, what the hell? We gotta do this all over again. Fair enough. Yeah, dub. Stupid mutt! I'll get you this time! Let me in. Why don't I go like further? Why do I have to go here? This kind of reminds me of part of uh, uh, Book of Unwritten Tales. There was a part in here where, or a part in there where you had to mess with uh, timing and catching the like squid guy. Well, he, he had the tentacle legs. Wasn't a squid really. He was like a frog with tentacle legs. Okay, I do not want to sneak out. We've learned that that's not what we want to do. I do not really want to close the drawer either. There's got to be something else that I am missing here. 
Something else to do. Something to mess with this individual. Write a name on the list. Okay. Can I do it again? How many times do I have to write a name on the list? This is starting to make a little bit more sense now. Too bad I can't, like, toss the tennis ball at him and hit him in the head. Alright, let's sneak out. Ugh. Still burning. I'll probably get deducted points from uh, not getting that in one shot. All right, what's going on here? All right, time to bail. Let's go. No, that won't work. Why wouldn't it? Yeah, that won't work. Mm. Well, time to head back to the side street, I guess. And with that, I think we've run our course of time for this one. So what I'll do is I'll say thank you guys for watching. We'll continue to break into the museum on the next one.